Oh, we're all familiar with the multifunction steering wheel buttons. Uh, the ones on the left there and that joystick looking thing, that's volume and channel up down, right? If you're using a CD player or something. Um, the two buttons on the right, you probably haven't been using them. You use that uh, RT button there, that stands for radio, telephone, uh, to switch the display uh, on the radio over there uh, to you know, telephone mode or radio mode. And then uh, the button on the bottom, pretty obvious what it does, it's actually got a couple of functions. The first is to place a call, but um, also if you hold it down and wait until you hear a beep, that's how you get into the voice response system. When the phone is not paired or if you don't have the phone service, you press that RT button, it'll say no phone. Now, as soon as you pair your phone or as soon as you activate a paired phone, that's going to change. Okay, so BT pairing procedure, you've seen it all documented, so let's just do it right on video here. You got the uh, pairing button on the, on the cradle, right? And obviously the ignition. You just need to move it to position one. And it has to happen in a certain sequence. And you'll know when you've done it right when you see BT pairing or Bluetooth pairing on your, on your radio. Okay, turn on the ignition. Hold it for two, three seconds, let go of the button. And there you go, that's BT pairing mode. You're basically good to get going on your phone. Okay, uh, so we got into pairing mode and we're gonna just set up the, uh, the phone for the first time. Uh, so I'm gonna walk over here and turn on my Bluetooth on my uh, iPhone. This is a five, but uh, they all behave the same way. Uh, that's an existing hands-free setup for another car. Uh, there's BMW, pops up hit that it says not paired blah 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 right so I'm gonna enter my pin and I'm uh, ready to pair and you'll see what happens here it behaves kinda of weird it connects then it beeps and it says not connected what the heck is going on uh, you can read plenty of stuff online about that um, that's normal I'm going to shut the car off and just turn it back on and you can watch a pairing. All right, so let me put this down here and I'm shutting the car off and you'll see the screen exit pairing mode, obviously. Okay, car's off, not connected. Now let's go ahead and just turn the car on, okay? Let's turn the car on at position one and um, if we are patient here, we'll just watch the uh, off auto connect. Okay, and there it goes. So it's all set up and it's good to go. We're just going to do basic dialing now, and this is before the voice command system is set up with uh, new contacts, all right? So you can do all your dialing right from here, right from your steering wheel, and uh, the display on the radio is going to show you everything you need to know, okay? Right now it's showing radio information, you know, music info, just call it. That's what the RT button's for. You go over to RT there, that's radio telephone, that's what that means. So you hit it once, switches into phone mode, and then it's going to start showing you the contacts, okay? So I'm uh, going to go call my buddies over at Citywide Engines. And what I'm going to be doing here is just scrolling back and forth through my address book, which has been auto-populated, until I find Citywide Engines. Okay, and uh, here it comes. There it is right there. So there's Citywide Engines. These guys do great engine rebuilds in Chicago. Uh, and I'm ready to go here. I hit this button, and it's going to start dialing, okay? So I hit the button, and it's dialing, and there you go. There's Citywide Engines showing up, doing their thing. Let me hang up before I bother them. All right, but you get the picture, and the phone number was displaying uh, there. I don't know if you caught that uh, at the same time. This is all you can do um, after pairing the phone for the first time. The next thing you need to do is start actually recording prompts for the voice contacts so that you can use the voice response system to dial by name. I'm going to show you default status of the voice system after you've immediately paired for the first time. Okay, so if you just do this dialing button, to access the voice response system in the ALF, you actually have to hold it down, right? And you can do it on that button, and you can also do it on your cradle button here. So I'm going to hold it down, and I'm going to speak a command. Help. Help is available for phone, navigation, notepad, for example, say, help phone to get detailed information. Okay, so let's do that. Um, obviously, if you want to do uh, navigation, you need a nav system. Uh, but the phone commands we can use, so let's use the phone commands. 
Help phone. Important commands for the phone are dial number, dial name, add name, delete name, play phone book, clear phone book, redial. Detailed information is available in the owner's manual. When you first finish pairing your phone, you've got your contacts, you're able to dial using the buttons and the screen and all that. What you can't do yet, though, is the dial by name stuff. In this version of the of the all, you have to manually create those address book entries in the voice dialing system. And in order to do that, obviously, you have to save a name. All right. So but before we do that, let's just try dialing. OK, let's just try the dial name command with an empty voice address book. This is what happens to you when you first pair for the first time. Hold the normal button down there and do your thing. Dial name. The phone book is empty. Okay, that's expected behavior. So, you know, add an entry in there by just using the save name command. And I'll just do a dummy one here for a second. Let's try that. Save name. Please speak the name. Home. Please speak the number. Six, three, three, five, 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 one, two, one, two. Six, three, three, five, 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 one, two, one, two. Continue. Save. Name and number are saved. Pretty straightforward. Then let's, we can dial by name now. Dial name. Please speak the name. Home. Home. Are you sure? Yes. Dialing. Okay, so that's the dummy number I said before, and there's the, there's the deal call. Okay, let's delete that fake name that we just did. So hold this down. Delete name. Please speak the name. Home. Would you like to delete the name? Yes. Name and number are deleted. Pretty easy. What we're going to do is put it in a pairing mode, and then uh, as soon as you see BT pairing on the screen, we're going to hold this button down again uh, for 10 seconds, and then you're going to hear three beeps and a reset. So let's go ahead and get started here. So I'm going to hold the button and uh, put it in position one. So I've got them holding down the button here and putting it in position one. And that's just standard pairing procedure, right? I'm going to turn the button thing on. And then I'm just going to let go. Uh, I'm going to let go of the button. And there's BT pairing, okay? Now, to reset, just come right back down to the button and hold it down without doing anything else. Hold it for 10 seconds. And you're going to look on the screen here. It's going to say reset. Almost there. Okay, so over three beeps and let go of the button, and there's the reset right there. When you reset the off, it still leaves your, your voice ad dialing address book intact. Uh, so, in order to do that, you actually have to use a clear phone book command. So, let's go ahead and do that. I'll hold that down to get to the off uh, voice response, and, uh, and then we'll clear phone book. Here we go. Clear phone book. Would you like to clear the phone book? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. The phone book has been cleared. 